Hey there, I'm Kathy with the Traveling Homesteader, and today I am at the most exciting place on the planet. Please note my sarcasm. It is the dump, or the transfer station as we call it, in Oregon. <laughs> and today is a rather busy day. Sometimes it's more busy than others, and you'll see kind of what I mean in a minute. But part of being homesteading-esque is making sure you know where to put your own trash and doing recycling and all that stuff. So, with that in mind, we're going to kind of take a look and see other people taking different different things to the dump. You're, you'll hear a whole host of things going on here. And um, today there was a duck game, so it was a special, or a, sorry, a University of Oregon game. So everybody came early. And it's already just after 1 o'clock here. <laughs> so that's early, which is kind of interesting. So check this out. We just had a had this semi come in to replace either this one or the one over there and you can see that there's all the what I call the stuffer the guy in the in the rig to stuff down the trash that's already come in and at this particular site we have a recycling spot over there just uh, over there which is where I dropped off my um, cardboard and since recycling isn't it's limited because of all things kind of going on in the world um, anyway so that's that and so you can see there's lots of people doing their job and then over here we actually have um, they take tires and pallets and um, handy dandy um, they actually in this particular building they actually do take things like computers and TVs because it's illegal to put it in the trash, the normal trash here. So you get penalized for it. But you can see there's even a little bit of a white line up here. So I better get going on my stuff to dump out my trash. I, I just spoke with this man here and he's actually really rather funny and he's, he said he's gonna try to make this all fit in make it happen all together <laughs> So there's the challenge. Let's see if we can make it fit. <laughs> Interesting to see if he can fit. He probably can. That big old semi. That guy's probably a pro.
We've gotten to the point where all of these bins are so full right now that we actually have to wait for this guy to do this job to make sure that we can get all our trash in. Like I just was putting some trash in and I had a box fall over the edge, which wasn't good. But this is kind of the importance of knowing how and where to put your trash, that there are options for you to, to make things go away appropriately. And sometimes this is the appropriate place to bring your trash. The transfer station like this where they take it out to a, a larger facility or a dump site. But in other cases, there are things that you can recycle um, or burn. Like I see here, there's a particular, right there is a, a mattress that at least in an organization around me called St. Vincent and Paul's, they actually have a place where they can recycle mattresses if they're not completely soiled and having issues. Um, they have certain parameters, I think, that, and that can be taken care of. But they're, if you can kind of know how to recycle or renew or rejuvenate something, that helps prohibit things like this happening in excess. So this is where we were today, at the Veneta Transfer Station. And the thing is, these places are actually really needed throughout wherever we are. And when we use them, we have to pay a certain fee. And it's for us and where we live, it's actually cheaper for me to bring our tra my trash here than to have it have the, the trash man come in the dump truck and pick up my stuff. This load today for me was a total of 1150 uh, in less than a month. And I had a full load, almost full load, of more than six or just about six trash cans and some other things and I was able to do recycling and a couple of different things so when we think of trash it's not the most fancy thing to think of but we have to think of our time our energy who we have to pay to get rid of it and so we need to kind of look at where things go and I know trash is not the fanciest of things to talk about but when wherever we live, we gotta kinda make haste with it in some capacity. So with that in mind, if you get the chance to go to transfer station, recycling center, um, wherever, um, an actual dump to actually send your stuff off to, or if you prefer not to go to those places, find a means to recycle or donate. Um, you can go to, you know, St. Vincent de Paul's, Goodwill, um, other, there are other places that you can donate your goods to that are clean and neat and able to be used again by other people. Um, and so with that in mind, um, I hope you've learned something along the way about the dump transfer stations and kind of how, think about how to get rid of your things in a different way. Now, in my case, I will be donating a lot of my things that I didn't bring to the dump today. Um, so that's another thing that I get to think about next. Um, and with that in mind, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and take an opportunity to comment on how you do trash or recycle or how you kind of um, take care of things so that your area is clean and neat in essence. So thanks for stopping on by and I hope to see you again soon.